Mr. Hayward. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Mr. Zhang. It's great to be here with you guys today. Great to be here too. Yep. Tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, what you do here and what you're planning on doing if you're elected as UC president. Felix and I are running for the UC because we've got a lot of things tangibly done for students and we want to do a lot of more things for students. So that means getting hot burgers back in the dining halls, making sure there's a student uh, input in the budget process and making sure that kids are brought into the UC on all aspects. So George, you've done a lot of work uh, in policy. You brought an ATM to the quad, you brought the cell tower to the quad, you made walking home from the quad a lot safer. Do, do you know that there are nine other houses <laughs> besides those in the quad? Well, you know, your job as a UC representative is to work for the people who voted you there. So I've always focused on getting things done for students from where I'm from, but I also have done a lot of work for people down the river. So I definitely know there's nine other houses and I think I've helped them as well. That's great. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to mention that I visited your website, uh, ResultsSuck.com. <laughs> well, basically it's Results UC and also <laughs> Results Undergraduate oh, oh. Council. Now I hate to be controversial here, but don't you think Results UC could be a little discriminatory towards maybe the blind community at Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Results UC, it, it's a more ideological, hopefully. Um, it's the things that all students want to have done at Harvard. Explain your campaign in three words. Results you see. How about <laughs> three interpretive dance moves? I mean, I would just say students, administration, bring it together. But we can't have noises. Let's uh, see. So we've got... <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I won't ask. Uh, right now, I'd like to take a look at a uh, your your student ID photo that was oh, taken no. uh, some years ago. Do you recognize yourself here? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering, uh, what was it you were hiding in your hair bag? Then? Well, you know, sometimes you need extra pencils for class. <laughs> That's always convenient. Like change. If you run out of pockets, you can put that there. That's convenient. You ever think of going back to it, maybe? You know, oh, all the time. All the time. <laughs> I would go through like one shampoo bottle a week with that haircut. So like, in these tough economic times, I don't know if we can have hair that style. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it short for now. Uh, so gentlemen, I'm also going to give you a uh, race card. Excellent. Which oh either boy. one of you can use at any time Excellent. during a question. So now we're going, we're going to talk about uh, pandering. So I'm just going to give you a student group and I want uh, you to show me how you would pander to them. So my first group would be uh, Pandas. I would say pandas come from a similar background that I come from, that we grow up in a similar culture, that we understand uh, similar ways of life. Yeah, that's how I would pander to a You chew bamboo. Um, <laughs> I don't want to make that into a stereotype, uh, but I do enjoy a good bamboo chewing here and there. Who doesn't? <laughs> it's good for teeth. It's good for teeth. <laughs> I think you totally just played the race card right there, and you didn't even use the race card. Here, I'm just, no, you just no. lost your race card. You lost your race card. All right. Actually, what I, um, what I noticed is that there are no women uh, on any of these tickets. So where do you think they are? Uh, in the kitchen? Where they belong? <laughs> right? Uh, that, that, that's, that's, not, that's not like a good thing to joke about right now. No comedy in this UC presidency, this ticket. <laughs> so, say like one person was the, the woman <laughs> on the ticket. Who do you think would be the woman? I will say this. I don't know who's the woman of our relationship. Of not relationship of this ticket. <laughs> I would say... Wait, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we discussing right now? Because... <laughs> I, think, I think it's important for a UC president and vice president to, to, to have a good relationship. And George and I, we are lucky to be really good friends outside of, uh, outside of this campaign. So in this relationship, <laughs> <laughs> who would be the top and who would be the bottom? Well, I'm the top of the ticket. So you would be the top. Of the ticket. And you'd be the bottom. I, I hesitantly say yes, sir. You would be the bottom. All right, we're, we're going to do a situation now. Sure. Could I uh, have my uh, baby, please? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, oh dear. Is, Sorry. Is this She's how okay. Hot Harvard is? <laughs> okay. Hot Harvard time. Uh, <laughs> um, you're just going to slap it? <laughs> okay. So, so I'm a mother, uh, and you're, you're campaigning, and here I am with my baby. What do you do? Oh, well, 
Because we're campaigning, we have to, whoa, we whoa, have to whoa, kiss the baby. Whoa. We have to hold it. We have to you bring. just grabbed my baby by the head. You handed the baby to me. <laughs> After you, you drop it on the ground. my baby. <laughs> show it to Felix. Like, oh, hello. Nice to meet you. I will. Are you going to, you're going I to will meet campaign the baby. to the baby. Okay. Now, Sh reminding you, the baby can't understand anything. Baby, we have tangible results. We want to see uh, student advocacy. And uh, we want to bring the work that George has already done, the methods he's already done, to the larger issues facing all of campus. Okay, baby. Shall okay. I, would you like your baby back? Well, does George, does George want to say anything to the baby as well? Or, uh... Be delicate. It's young. Very nice. Here. Be okay. careful of these guys here. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? That, that's what I want to say. That what do you baby. think about that, baby? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> So, thank you, George. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. And I'd like to remind you that voting opens on Monday, November 16th.